What's shaking bacons? Today I'm back with another fire upload here to tell you everything you probably missed in the new Sponge on the Run movie trailer. I know that most people watch trailers with their eyes closed, so here are some easter eggs that you would have missed if you were too busy wondering why Shrek 5 still hasn't come out yet. Now before we start, I'd like to remind you guys to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell, because if you don't, a 65 pound armadillo will crawl into your room and eat you alive. And don't forget to smash that like button, I think we can get to 1 million likes! And also share this video with your friends, watch until the very end, so I can make as much money as possible, and leave 56 comments so YouTube recommends this video more. Anyway, let's start off with the first easter egg. The trailer starts off with Spongebob screaming WOO as we cut to a shot of the Krusty Krab. This is, of course, a very subtle reference to the Krusty Krab that is a main setting in the show. Very subtle plug there, guys. We then cut to a scene where Spongebob says, I love my life, which is, of course, a very subtle contradiction to my life, which is depressingly sad because I have to resort to making a trailer breakdown video. Now, in the very next scene, we actually see the Krusty Krab filled with customers, and if you zoom in, you can clearly see Perch Perkins, who has made multiple appearances on this show before, including the episode Grooming Gary, the greatest Spongebob episode to ever be conceived! Kicking off number 4, we see a shot of Spongebob, Squidward, and Patrick's houses, subconsciously telling us that Squidward and Patrick are in this movie. If you didn't know, their street is also called Conch Street, and Conch actually ends with an H. And this is, of course, a very cool nod to Steven Hellenberg, whose last name also starts with an H. In another scene, we see a sign that says Camp Coral, which is clearly going to be setting up the announced spin-offs that are by the same name. Although it's unclear whether it's going to be an origin story or not, it still doesn't make me any less excited for the Squidward spin-offs. Now before we move on to number 5, I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe, please have to pay right- Moving on, we got to a scene of Spongebob as a kid, which we've never really seen before, aside from baby photos, which I think makes this trailer really unique. We then cut to present Spongebob, voiced by Tom Kenny, whose career includes the Ice King on Adventure Time, Heffron Rocco's Modern Life, and Psychic Boy in an episode of Mr. Pickles. We then see that Gary has gone missing, a very nice callback to the season 4 episode Have You Seen This Snail, as we see Mr. Krabs, Sandy, and Squidward here as well, showing us that they are all in fact in this movie. Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run, coming to theaters in 2020! Later, we see the Spongebob and Patrick go back to the burger car from the first Spongebob movie to go and find Gary, presumably. This is very similar to the first Spongebob movie, where Spongebob and Patrick also use the paddy wagon to embark on a journey and find the crown. We then cut to- Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yep. In this scene, Patrick jokingly says that his name means toaster in Celtic. This, of course, is not true, you idiots. We then cut to a scene where Spongebob and Patrick drive to Atlantic City, which is a completely new location. At least, I think it is. Moving on to number 34, Spongebob says that he won't get distracted, to only be followed by them jokingly getting distracted. If you zoom into Patrick's mouth, you actually see that it's pretty similar to the face that he made in the first Spongebob movie, and yet another nod to the film. If you look even closer, you can see my hopes and dreams in there too! As they get distracted from Atlantic City, someone offers them churros. This is obviously a reference to Mexican culture, as propaganda to influence the 2020 American presidential election, which will also have Mexico as a big factor in it. Impeach Trump! <laughs> in a later scene, we cut to a casino, clearly referencing the city of Las Vegas, which also has casinos in it. We also see Reg here, a great reference to the episode No Weenies Allowed. We then cut to a shot of the title, Sponge on the Run. Revealing the first letters of each word, you can see a very subtle nod to the Sovereign of the Three Realms. Great Chinese references here, Nickelodeon. In the last scene, Spongebob makes a remark about Patrick's sense of irony, and Patrick unknowingly makes a joke about ironing. This is, of course, a reference to the element of iron, whose atomic number is 26, which is also the day of the month the creator Steven Hillenburg passed away last year. This means that Nickelodeon is not only going to reference Hillenburg and his legacy multiple times throughout the film, but this will actually be a 96-minute documentary on him and his luscious hair. Alright, that's it for Easter eggs in the Spongebob Movie 3 trailer. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit that bell for more epic Fortnite Let's Plays. And I'll see you, ladies and jellyfish, in the next one. Ciao! Reese's Buffs, Reese's Buffs, eat em up, beat em up, beat em up, beat em up. Reese's Buffs, Reese's Buffs, eat em up, beat em up, beat em up, beat em up. Wow. I got Reese's Puffs in my bowl, wow. now my day's on cruise control. Wow. I got Reese's Puffs in my bowl, wow. and just like that I'm on the road. Reese's Buffs, Reese's Buffs, peanut butter